Hello everyone, uh, I am Dr. Anime Shah, I am a clinical oncologist and today we will be discussing about radio surgery. So radio surgery or stereotactic radio surgery uh, uses highly focused precise radiation to treat tumors and other problems of brain and spine. It is not surgery in true sense because there is no incision. What happens? Radio surgery or stereotactic radio surgery uses 3D imaging to deliver very high dose of radiation in a precise manner to the targeted area of brain and spine. And it has very minimal effect on surrounding normal tissue or normal organ. So typically stereotactic radio surgery for brain and spine gets completed within one day. So stereotactic radio surgery basically damages the DNA of tumor cells so that they lose, they lose their ability to reproduce. And that's, that's why they shrink over time. Stereotactic radio surgery not only uh, shrinks the tumor, but also it uh, closes the blood vessels feeding the tumor over time. That is how it robs the tumor from its blood supply, leading to damage of the tumor cells. So, uh, the types of stereotactic radio surgery depends on the type of machine that are used to deliver stereotactic radio therapy. So traditionally linear accelerator can be used for uh, stereotactic radio surgery or uh, radio surgery. Apart from that, there are other machines like cyber knife, gamma knife, uh, helical tomotherapy. Uh, those can also be used for uh, stereotactic radio surgery or radio surgery. So various uh, cancerous as well as non-cancerous tumor can be treated with stereotactic radio surgery. For example, uh, pituitary tumor, acoustic neuroma, meningioma, paraganglioma, hemangioblastoma, uh, etc. Apart from that, uh, sometimes cancer when spread from another cancer in the body to the brain, that is called brain metastasis. And stereotactic radio surgery are often used to treat brain metastasis. Apart from that, uh, stereotactic radio surgery can be used for other conditions like uh, arteriovenous malformation, trigeminal neuralgia, essential tremor, etc. Radio surgery is usually very well tolerated. It is not a surgery, so there is no surgical complications. Uh, commonly, patient can have tiredness or weakness. Uh, apart from that, sometimes there is increase in pressure inside the brain. For that, patient might have a headache, nausea, vomiting. Uh, there could be some hair or scalp problem using uh, uh, hair or scalp problem, for example, patchy hair loss, dryness of the skin of the scalp, redness of the skin of the scalp, etc. That's all for today. Uh, thank you for listening.